Welcome back to the channel, friends. As you may already know, I love hummus. But it's not just that, I love dips. Eating with your hands is very freeing and satisfying, especially dipping things into other things. Hummus is great, but if you only have hummus as your dip option, it gets boring and bland pretty fast. So today I want to share with you a dip that my grandma used to make for me all year round. It's made from a very common and affordable ingredient, beans. White, speckled, black, red, and everything in between. This creamy bean paste will make you a happy camper no matter if your tent is up or not. These are the ingredients you'll need for this recipe. 1 cup or 250 grams of dried beans, I'm using white today, 3 medium red onions, peeled and washed, 3 garlic cloves, peeled, 1 large carrot, peeled and washed, 2 tablespoons of tomato paste, salt and pepper to taste, 2 tablespoons of cooking oil, and 50 milliliters of olive oil. Then the tools you need are a mesh strainer, or a colander, a blender or a food processor, a pot, a large bowl and a wooden spoon, a sharp knife, a peeler and a chopping board, a grater and a frying pan. The prep stage is quite simple and we'll start by soaking the beans for about 12 hours. Alternatively, you can use pre-cooked canned beans and skip the entire soaking and cooking phase, but know that all canned foods are full of preservatives and all kind of chemicals that may not be good for us in the long run. When the beans have soaked, drain them of that water, place them into the pot and top it up with fresh water. Then add a teaspoon of salt and cook them at medium heat for 40 minutes or until thoroughly cooked. To avoid stomach issues associated with bean dishes of any kind, aka the melodic farts, you can change the water in this stage three times. By that, I mean after about 10 minutes, boil some water in a kettle, drain the water in the pot and replace it with the kettle one. The water needs to be boiled so it doesn't stunt the cooking of the beans. Do this three times and the butt trumpet effect will no longer plague you and your family. While the beans cook, peel your carrot and grate it. The size is up to you, I went with the medium sized grate. Then proceed to slice the red onion ensuring that the slices are not too thin. About 5 mm will do, as this recipe benefits from thicker slices. Now that we're done with the prep, let's start cooking. So, put the cooking oil into the pan, and when it reaches cooking temperature, add the carrot and the onion. We want to cook them at medium heat for 5 minutes, until they become glossy, but not soft and mushy. When that's done, add the tomato paste, some ground pepper, and 50 ml of warm water, and let them simmer at low heat for 10 minutes. This will be our crowning jewel for the dip. By now the beans should be ready, so strain them through a mesh sieve into a bowl or a cup so that we can keep some of that cooking juice. This will be a crucial ingredient in the final dish. Next put the beans into the Nutribullet or blender container, add 100 ml of that bean juice we kept from cooking them, 50 ml of olive oil, the 3 garlic cloves, and salt and pepper to taste. But be careful, just taste the beans before adding more salt because we did use some when cooking them. Then blend everything together until all the ingredients are fully incorporated. Lastly, put this bean paste into a bowl and decorate it with the onion and carrot relish we made before. I promise this is a very delicious dish and the best way to enjoy it is on a slice of freshly baked bread, a cracker, or by dipping into it with your favorite veggie stick, like carrots or celery. Yes, it is incredible and I am so happy and grateful that you decided to join me today for another recipe. And if you enjoy my videos, please don't forget to like it, share the recipe with your friends and family, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for your time and interest, and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye. Creamy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I so good. No, you need to have the onion, otherwise, otherwise, it's just bean paste.